what kind of existence are we living if we don't take a look at someone who is less fortunate because believe you me could be any of us sitting here you know that is on that other side we're real excited to be sitting here with Ricky Miner, the band leader for the Tonight Show band. In fact, we just finished a live taping of the show, and we're hanging out uh, here in Ricky's dressing room. Ricky, yeah, man. Hey, good, good to see you, man. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Yeah, man. So, Ricky, talk about how your experience of you know working with homeless youth and foster youth, and how that has impacted your life. Well, you know, it's really important. For a while there, I did uh, emergency foster care. And you find out that, you know, I was always interested in what happens to the child after they leave foster care. And my, one of my neighbors uh, had foster kids. And I would wonder, like, you know, the kids there, and then the kids would run away. And at 16 or so, they start thinking about, I'm going to be uh, emancipated out of this system and basically just put out on the street. So where do I go? And the older kids, you talk to the other kids and go, well, no one wants me. I mean, I work on a show called A Home for the Holidays, and we've done this 10 years, and we've helped kids get adopted. But the fear, the older kids, is no one wants me because I'm damaged. I'm damaged yeah. goods. So uh, I think that, you know, so I thought, well, maybe if I get in there and start early and help with their confidence and help build their self-esteem, but then what happens to the kids who are already, you know, about to, and what kind of careers, what kind of life, and what kind of support systems do they have? And so, you guys know, you've done the research that these kids end up out on the streets. And they're a victim of circumstance. It's not that, that they didn't do something right, or that they were bad people. They were born into a situation some born into abusive parents, born into parents who are, 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 are on drugs, or parents who just couldn't take care of them. Understand this problem and really devote time to this because it's, it's easy to hear from your peers that it's okay and that here are options. Right. When someone who who is much older than you are telling you that you can do you can do it well they you know it seems for you to say you're an adult you you know you you have a great life but as a uh, as your peers they can say look i'm going to school here's a program you can do this you can do that and if they were able to talk one on one about these emotions because it's hard you know i mean uh, to that that's one part of it talking to your peers the other is having professional help you know, someone who can help you talk through what all these things, these emotions that you're feeling. And then job opportunities. Pe people need to feel some self-worth. I mean, it really is shouting, you know, and you see the faces and they're shouting out help. So I think that it's really important for not only people who are doing well, but people who may have uh, uh, more notoriety or, or a little famous, if you will, that have time on TV where they have a recognizable face where people will stop and listen. And I think that it's important for a lot of the actors, musicians, artists, painters, uh, people to become involved because that's going to help give it a bigger voice. Absolutely. And we can make a difference, but we have to believe that and we have to do the work. That's no, no choice. We have to do yeah, the work. Exactly. I mean, because talking about it, great. You got to do the work. Hi, I'm Ricky Miner, and I support the Gen Y Project.